Welcome to the Boston Institute of Finance's Financial Calculator video tutorial series, Calculating Standard Deviation of a Two-Asset Portfolio. There are two formulas you will be expected to know for the CFP exam. This one is for calculating covariance, and this one calculates the standard deviation of a two-asset portfolio. You will observe that the formula for standard deviation uses covariance. The names of the Greek letters used in the notation are lowercase sigma and lowercase rho. The sigma variable means standard deviation. When you see sigma squared, this is called variance. The rho variable stands for correlation coefficient. Both of these variables may be provided in the question or they may be something you need to calculate from given data. The purpose of the subscripted i and j are to help distinguish between the two assets in the portfolio. For the purpose of working through these formulas, you have the following information. John has an investment portfolio currently comprised of two assets. The correlation coefficient between asset i and asset j is 0.40. What is the standard deviation of the two-asset portfolio? It's helpful to organize this information into a table. An important variable, percentage of portfolio, will be labeled as capital W. To calculate the percentage, add both of their values and use that sum to divide each asset. Asset I is 35% and asset J is 65%. Let's start with the formula for covariance. Rho is correlation coefficient, which is given as 0.40. The two sigmas are the standard deviation of two assets i and j. Using a calculator, the product of these three numbers is 0.01728. We will use this number in the next formula. The formula for standard deviation for two assets can be broken down into three pieces being added together. Two pieces are the percentage of the asset multiplied by the variance, asset i and asset j. The third piece is twice the product of the respective percentages multiplied by the covariance. Let's take this one step at a time. Notice the variance, sigma squared, is the standard deviation to the power 2 similarly with the variable w squared. Drop in the numeric values in place of the variables. And here is where we will use the value calculated from the covariance formula. Add up all three parts and as a final step take the square root. Many students forget this final step. You've just done a lot of tedious calculations and are mentally exhausted so often, this final operation is forgotten. Don't let this happen to you. Square root that sum. With a brief review on the HP12C's reverse Polish notation to perform the operations in these formulas. Square root is found on the key y to the x and marked in blue, which means you will need to use the blue prefix g key to access it. As an example, finding the square root of 49 is fairly simple. Type in 49, blue prefix, and then square root. It acts on whatever number is on the display. To square a number, we enter in both the base and the exponent and then use the exponent key marked y to the x. Example, 5, enter, 2, exponent key. Here is something a little more challenging. This is an expression as you would normally see in any math textbook. However, because the HP12C uses RPN, the order of the key presses will go like this. 3, enter, 2, multiply key, 6, enter, 5, multiply key, add key, and don't forget, square root using the key blue prefix G.